In this video, I am going to go over a few tips and tricks for the Outlook client version of your computer. These will most likely be used to jumpstart you into the right direction when using Outlook in the most efficient way possible. So let's get started. The first advice or tip I recommend when using Outlook is to make sure that you do have a signature in place. There have been times where I see users manually type in a signature and all of their emails they send out, and that does not seem very time efficient for the amount of time that it takes to simply create a signature that will automatically get pulled each time. So in order to do that, we will click on the new email icon on the top left. From here, it does show you the signature icon, and then you can click on that. I have a clean slate with no signatures right now, so I will click on the new option. You can call your signature anything you want. I will call it signature one in case I want to make more in the future. Once you have a signature highlighted, it allows you to edit that signature in the body below. I will copy and paste a signature I've used in the past and click on save. By default, it will then make that signature your new email message. And you can also change that to your replies and forwards. However, it does get a little cluttered if you do that. So you can test that out and see if you like it either way. And when you click on new email, it does list that signature each time. Another Outlook tip or recommendation I advise you to look into or at least test out is the difference between Outlook conversations and messages. And if you are on the view tab, you can see this setting here that says show as conversations that will be on by default. What this means is it will chain your emails. If you and say Susie are emailing each other, it will put all those emails in one location. The issue with this is I have seen users complain that they miss emails because it may not be listed at the very top when you sort by new. So I advise you to at least turn this off and check that out to see if that helps you. Based on organization, it is a personal opinion and some like conversations and some like the normal default message setting instead. The next Outlook tip or advice I want to go over deals with accepting an Outlook calendar request sent from somebody else. So on the screen here you can see I have a test appointment saying please attend this meeting, the date, time, and location, and you have your normal options to accept and decline. What I want to go over deals with the two options here for accepting. If you were to select the do not send a response, it will add it to your own calendar, but the person who sent this will not know if you accepted or declined. So that creates a lot of confusion if that person is hosting an event of some kind and needs to know the number of attendees. So it's highly recommended if you accept any Outlook calendar invites that you send the response now and then it will add it to your calendar as well as the person who sent you that request. The last Outlook tip and trick I want to show you in this video anyway deals with resetting the Outlook navigation pane and customization settings. There have been times where I have seen Outlook not even be able to open at all. It will say, sorry, Microsoft Outlook is not able to start. There's also been times where I click on a new email, maybe my to field is spaced out, the formatting of my body is not allowing me to text. If I close that, maybe the formatting of spacing is odd for my folders or my actual preview email. All of these options will give you a resolution for resetting your navigation pane, and it's worth a shot because it doesn't really hurt anything if it's already kind of broken anyway. So in order to do that on a Windows operating system, you would go to the bottom left of your computer. Under the search, you would type in outlook.exe space forward slash reset nav pane. 
you can hit enter or just click on the option there. It will reopen up your Outlook to default customization settings. So that may resolve your issue. So that's why I wanted to include that in this video and it's worth a shot if you're already stuck and not able to edit or open an email or your Outlook as a whole. That's the last Outlook tip and trick I have in this video. Thanks for watching.